Hey fish, this is Ryan here at G-Force. Looking to go over your Outlander and what we found about here. Went ahead and took that clutch bar. As you can see that clutch spring is broken on your secondary. Did This thing did, this little piece here, flew out of the clutch cover as you can see and busted through the clutch cover. So somebody must have been here before because there's really no possible way for that to fly out because you set the clutch like this, this spring goes in like this, this sits in like this, on top of this piece here like this, and that holds up against the inner sheath of your clutch. So basically there's no way for that thing to fly out of there. So somebody must have had this apart at one point, and when they had it apart, they just didn't put this piece back in or something, because that thing came flying out of there. Like I said, and then your spring's broken here. You can see these are all kind of, you have a flashlight here, you can kind of see they're all galled up. It's galled up, you can see a piece right there. Take this off here so you can see. As you can see they're all galled up on the inside too. So we'll go ahead and need to get those replaced. You can see this plastic piece also. Those were pieces that came flying out of there when I took the cover off. I believe they're from the inside of this, your little yoke here. I think they go right down in here. That's what it looks like. And they sit kind of right inside where the spring recess. It's pieces that came out of there. So then we can go over here and just kind of show you, we have it all apart here. Actually, there's no other damage to plastic's not, no damage to the plastic, any of that. One of these bolts was, it was a pain to get out. It was starting to, it was cross threaded in there. It took me a little bit to get out of this one over here. So I'll have to run and chase, chase her through there and clean that up. But your secondary, or your inner, inner on your primary looks good. Everything else looks good in there. Because there's another little piece and bolt that fell out of that clutch cover when we took it apart. I'm not really sure where this bolt came from. There's no bolt missing out of your clutch cover, but it did fall out of that cover when we took it apart. As, go, as far as your four-wheel drive right now, it's showing four-wheel drive on the dash. It's, we got your assembly off here. You can see this is four-wheel drive. And if you listen, you can hear it clunking around and nothing is moving. You kind of see in there, it's, this should be spinning when I'm spinning your front hub here, this should be trying to spin your rear tires also being in four-wheel drive, and it is not. It's some, so you got something internal messed up in there, as you can see. You can go right here, kind of see here. Let me get a flashlight in here. You kind of watch. Show a flashlight in there, so you can kind of see. You kind of watch, it's hard to show, but if you watch that little yoke, See, you can see that yoke. Here we go, get a little. That yoke should be spinning. And you can see it's just kind of hopping around like something's not engaging inside. So you can see it right there, just hopping around. You can hear it. Something's in there bouncing around. So that'd be, except four wheel drive. You click it over here, that would be two wheel drive. You can see spin those it still is making a noise you can also still see that this little shaft here you can kind of see it right in get my finger in here right in here you kind of watch it's bouncing around so you can see that piece right there it's something got wedged in there or something it's hard to show on the video but there's a piece that's bulged out as you can kind of see right there a little bit it's bulged out see so that thing is and you can kind of see it's bouncing around so something internal grenaded in there so we'll need to you can either there's two options we can take it apart and figure out what grenaded or they sell an updated gearbox because these are known for grenading the gearbox you can buy an updated gearbox assembly which is a newer version so it basically fixes a problem with them grenading and also too we did notice you could see here got my flashlight again your diff seal, you can see it just covered in oil, so we'll need to replace that diff seal too. You can see it just saturating, saturating oil over there and just leaking oil. So I'll get you a quote on doing the diff seal, the transmission, rebuilding the clutch for you and getting this thing going for you and getting you down the road. Thanks, have a good day.